Hey, VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a video here. Uh, something I haven't done in a little while now. Just kind of showing some recent finds, all that good stuff. Um, and then I guess I have made a couple of changes in my music room. Um, seems like I'm always doing that to some degree. It's just uh, the one place I enjoy spending most of my time. So I'm just kind of like always envisioning and thinking about something different to do. So I changed up things a little bit. But there was one thing that I did to one of the expedits that I have. So I think I might just kind of share that at the end of the video as well. Just to uh, maybe throw out an idea if somebody else, I don't know if has already done it or not. But most of us have expedits. So maybe just, again, a thought to throw out there in case it might fit into something you want to do within your uh, your music room. But uh, a couple of different things to show here. Just a couple of vinyl. You know, I haven't really bought a lot of records or anything lately. Again, I haven't been spending a lot of money lately. But I have run across quite like quite a few great deals on CDs lately. So that's, that's been the thing I've been stumbling across for uh, very, very little money, which is which is kind of nice. So I'll share with you all the CDs that I picked up as well. But let's start off with the vinyl. One here. Well, let's just kind of go go like this. This is the first one, which is y Yuck. I'm sure, a lot of people are very familiar with this group. Um, this is one of those records again that I've seen in the bins for you know, years now, actually, I guess I said maybe a couple years now at least, but just never, you know, paid much attention to it, never really took the time to go find out what it was, and I don't know, somewhere along the line, the past week or two, I heard it somewhere, and I, oh, I remember, I was in a FYE, and it was playing, and I was like, that's good stuff, who is that, and I went and asked, and they were like, it's yuck, and I said, is that the one with the cover with this, like, the stick person putting the finger, it's like, yeah, I'm like, okay. So, you know, I knew the cover very well, but just never checked out the record, but really, really good stuff. This is the, the double LP that has the, the B-sides, you know, so again, definitely a nice addition there. Glad I finally actually discovered that album. The second one here is one that I'm tempted to call a grail, but I think more so than necessarily going down the grail route, I think this is really just kind of the way I see it. It's, it's more of a, a masterpiece that has been added to into my collection. And that is this right here, which is Spiritual Uni, or Spiritual Uni, Spiritual Unity <laughs> by the Albert Ayler Trio. Really great stuff here too. Again, just another one I stumbled across as I started to get more into the free jazz thing. And, um, you know, I have a, a burnt CD copy that I've listened to for quite some time, but to actually get it on vinyl, you know, you don't find these just floating around everywhere without question. But, but again, I don't see it so much as a grail as much as just a, again, just a masterpiece when it comes to um, any type of free jazz and stuff like that. A great, great album. Only four tracks on it. I think maybe a total of just over 20-something minutes of music, I think. If I remember correctly, only four tracks, but yeah, it's not like a long, long record, but again, it's just great, great stuff. So if you are a free jazz fan, make sure you check that out. Very nice 180 gram pressing. Really, really cool stuff. So yeah, I'm very, very happy to get that one in my collection. I've wanted the album for quite some time. Uh, let's see. So next, let's just kind of go to some of the CDs. Again, there's there's a Hastings that I hit pretty regularly, a FYE that I go by, and usually I'm not buying a lot of stuff because, as I mentioned in previous videos, I don't like spending a lot of money on CDs. You know, I just refuse to pay more than a couple of bucks in most cases for CDs. Of course, there's exceptions now, now and then, but pretty much all the ones I'm going to show you here, with the exception of a, a a set that I have here, you know, pretty much were all about two dollars a piece. So the only one maybe that doesn't fall in that category is Kitty, because I'm actually working on completing my Kitty collection, and all I need now is the CD for uh, In the Black, and then I'll have basically all their studio albums, which would be kind of nice. So if any of you have a copy of In the Black, Sale, Trade, anything 
hit me up with a PM, let me know, see if we can work something out. But this is I Failed You. Just, you know, typical kitty stuff there. And I love these chicks. Very, very cool stuff. I've actually seen them live before. I mean, those, those girls put on a freaking show. Uh, but uh, favorite song, this is probably the song Ugly. I think that's a really, really good track. Now, some of these great $2 finds. The B-52s. Wild Planet. Another great album. Um, two bucks. Ozzy Osbourne. Let's see if I can get, get away from the reflection there. And of course, this is down to earth. And th these were brand new and sealed. You know, got them on sale for two dollars. They were all marked down. Same thing with Best of uh, Billy Paul. You remember that you know classic hit, Me and Mrs. Jones. Uh, the Zayo here. This was two fifty, but sealed, brand new copy. But again, Zayo is the other group that I'm working on in terms of getting a complete studio album collection. And this is the the fear is what keeps us here. Motorhead. And that's March or Die. More really good stuff. I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold it kind of sideways so the glare off the light. Um, I think this one was also marked down to two 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 dollars or two fifty. But my fun, a brand new copy of My Funny Valentine by Miles Davis. Another good piece. This was awesome, too. You talk about a great $2 find. Brand new sealed copy of Jimi Hendrix. South Saturn Delta. I do have this on vinyl, but again, for $2, I'm not going to pass this up on a brand new CD. So that, that's an awesome collection, too. Nice little digipack there. I mean, they were already marked down to $3.99, and they did the extra additional percentages off. So I'm like, holy cow, I'm racking up here. White Lion, this is also a brand new copy. <laughs> you guys remember Pride. I've had this on vinyl, which I've listened to quite a bit, but, you know, great to have it on CD, too. Such a love-hate with this particular album, because when you go back to those hair metal days, you know, it was like 87, you know, mid-late 80s, I don't think there's any song I hated more than the song Wait by White Lion. I hate that song completely and there may not be a song from the mid 80s hair metal type stage well, I don't know if you put them in hair metal but you know what I'm talking about that I love as much as tell me you know so just two tracks apart is one of the worst songs that I would never listen to if my life depended on it and another song that I can't stop listening to no matter what so I definitely have kind of a love-hate relationship with <laughs> with this album Giant Taylor Again, another one I've had on vinyl, but $2.00, I wasn't going to pass up on CD. This is a really great $2.00 find. Iggy and the Stooges' Raw Power. Again, have it on vinyl. Nice to pick up the CD. I think this one was $2.50, actually. Black Sabbath, Volume 4. Didn't have that CD, so nice pickup. As well as Monk, love that cover. I actually need to get this on vinyl. I mean, the artwork alone makes that enough where I really want it on vinyl. But listen to this the other day too. You know, really, really good stuff. Just classic Monk there. And continuing on, more Zayo here. Again, this one's titled. Um, what is it? Oh, The Funeral of God. It's another great pickup. Uh, great $3 find here. Love. Greatest Hits. A lot of their great stuff on here. Very, very nice CD. And I'm sure Billy Crayoni will appreciate this one. Five Star. Silk and Steel. <laughs> I'm not sure if a lot of people remember this group, but just one of those uh, those great 80s R&B groups. They had that song that I love, which is Can't Wait Another Minute. 
this one was actually I think I paid about four dollars for it, but four or five dollars but actually it was so worth it because I've been wanting this for quite some time but uh Ambrosia Anthology and again just has all their their great stuff on there including Biggest Part of Me and um what's the other great hit on here um oh how much I feel you know, just classic 70s soft rock stuff right there. Ride. Nowhere. Again, another great pickup there. Nice to have that on CD. I'm um, working on my Sepultura collection. And again, another great $3 find, which is Sepultura. Nice little kind of a uh, digit pack there. And so I, I'm pre I'm pretty close to having a complete collection there as well. I think I still need schizophrenia. I need their their new one, the, the mediator, blah blah blah. And what's the other? I think it's, there's one more I need. Actually, I think I have my little list right here. Oh, Roarback. So those are the three I still need on CD to kind of complete my artist collection there. But so that was a good pickup. And. Out of Order by Rod Stewart. Another great 80s Rod Stewart album. I mean, songs like Lost in You. Um, and, of course, Crazy About It is a great track. And then When I Was Your Man. You know, just really, really good Rod stuff. Oh, and, of course, My Heart Can't Tell You No, Forever Young. A couple other hits on you know the album there. But that really is a great album. So happy to find that on CD as well. And then another, I think I got this for two dollars and ninety-four cents. I remember how much the tag was on it. But it's this CD set, oldies but goodies. And you know, this is also one of those things that's kind of a telling story about, I guess, independent record stores as compared to your Hastings or Best Buys or that type of thing. I mean, you go to an independent record store, you know. There's usually a bunch of weird people that work there, whether it's the old guy with the big beard that owns the place, or, you know, the younger kids that think they know everything and, you know, which then they kind of they kind of do know a lot and they can introduce you to new music and, you know, can't wait to start talking to you about some new album or something that they love or whatever. You know, all those great things about independent record stores. And then you have your chains like your Hastings and your Best Buys and everything else where people just basically have a job. You know, it's not even it's not about the music or or whatever else. And it, sometimes it just hits me because when I w I was in Hastings and I saw this and it was wrapped up and it it only had a uh, $2.94 on the price tag. So I'm wondering, okay, what the heck is this? Cuz I'm looking at the little albums on the side and I'm thinking, okay, $2.94, maybe it's just a few single CDs that are, you know, the, like design like records. That's supposed to be like a little 45 set, and maybe only the songs I see on these outer albums is what's in here. So I'm not sure. So I go up and ask the guy. I said, you know, can you tell me what what, what this is here? And he picks it up and he goes, yeah, it's um, I think it's just CDs of the oldies but goodies. And I'm like, thanks. <laughs> I mean, it's. <laughs> I mean, it almost went like South Park on him, you know, just like looking at him like, what the... I mean, he just holds the box and goes, yeah, I think it's I think it's just some CDs of oldies but goodies. I was like, well, yeah, I think I figured out that much, but I was wondering, is it a... Is it a you know, if it's a single set of just certain songs, or is it a, you know, whatever. But anyway, I thought, okay, $2.94, I'll take the chance, because obviously I've never seen this commercial, because it's a time life thing, so I've never seen it. And yeah, it just ended up being like five CDs, four or five CDs of just a lot of, um, you know, Rock and Robin, Earth Angel, uh, Born Too Late, Sorry, One Summer Night, Susie Darling, you know, just all that old, old type of stuff. So it was a great, I mean, it's only $2.94, or so not a risk, but that just totally blew my mind when that, that guy was just like, it's, it's oldies but goodies. Like, gee, thanks, the box just totally threw me off on that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I won't com complain about that. Again, just one of those little notable differences about going to a a uh, 
independent store as compared to just a commercial store. But last but not least, something else that I picked up here, now I didn't get this for $3, is this Led Zeppelin Complete Studio Album set. Uh, I'm really starting to catch on to getting into CD box sets more. Um, I just, I don't know, it's just, maybe it's like I've been watching Robert Z so much, I've just started to become a little more fascinated with collecting box sets. So, you know, I got the Judas Priest Complete Studio Album Series a little while ago, and then I just picked up this Zeppelin. Um, I heard they're about to come out with a new one, too, but this is basically all their studio albums. They come in these nice little booklets where it's, it's like two albums in each each booklet. So you just kind of flip it over like that and it goes right to the other one. So on the inside, like on the Led Zeppelin 1, you have the CD right there. You can see there. And then you have all of the, you know, liner notes and everything. Sorry, I can get that, if I can flip this open. Liner notes and everything right inside there. And then you can see if you go all the way through, the next one's upside down, but that's because, you know, when, you, when you're doing Led Zeppelin 1, you have all the info here, but then when you go to Led Zeppelin 2, all the info is this direction. So, kind of a neat little box set. Um, and again, I saw it, and it was on sale as well, but, you know, typically, again, I wasn't going out to spend a bunch of money on that, so what I decided I was going to do, actually, is... Since I had all of this already in my collection, you know, which is pretty much most of the stuff outside of presents, I'm just going to sell my Zeppelin CDs here and basically just call it a wash, because I'm sure I'll get as much as I pay for the box set. So I actually, I, I should have mentioned this before I did it, but I did just list these on eBay but no one has bid on them yet, so if someone is really, you know, looking for some different Zeppelin stuff, you know, let me know, and if nobody has put a bid on it yet, I'll be happy to take it off of eBay and do a trade or sell it to you, whatever the case may be, but just kind of real quick, you have Presence, Houses of the Holy, In Through the Outdoor, I also have a, another copy here of In Through the Outdoor, uh, of course, Four, Led Zeppelin 3, Led Zeppelin 2, Led Zeppelin 1, I have another copy of Led Zeppelin 3, different cover there, and then also have a sealed copy of Coda, I'm sorry, Presence, and then a sealed copy of Coda as well. So again, let me know if somebody's in need of anything there, and if, uh, you know, I get no bids or don't sell it on eBay, you know, I'll be happy to stop the auction and, you know, kind of work out whatever. But, uh, that's pretty much everything that I've picked up, say mostly kind of a CD week the last couple weeks because of the sale that keeps, keep happening at the tastings and at this FYE. So that's been really good. Playing in the background, in case I didn't mention that at the beginning, is Feist. So that's what I've been playing there. So, yeah, that, those are the pickups. And now let me show you the, the quick kind of change that I made to one of the expedites, again, just in case it's something that might spark an idea if someone hasn't thought about it before, because I know, again, we both have a lot of these, these expedites. But what I basically did was I took my system off of this shelf and decided to go ahead and put the little stacks up there again. And kind of in the process of rearranging that, what I wanted to do was kind of take all of the best components that I have with all my systems and put it over here. So um, one of the things that I did here was, you know, the, the 2 by 2 Expedit, I simply took out, it seems like there's a lot of light over there. Hold on one second. Let's see if I can get a little more light there. Okay. Yeah, this... So this is just two of the 2x2 two two expedits sitting side by side, but I just took out one of the, the center pieces here, the divider. I mean, it's not like there's a lot of weight on top with just a turntable sitting there, so that's no issue. And then one of the doors from the 
the Vista, which is another one of those type of IKEA shelves. I took one of the doors off of that, okay, that a little more light, and then took some of the legs that I got, for, again, from IKEA. But these are the legs that go with one of the, some like a kitchen unit or something. It's like little screw-on legs, and put that on the shelf. So now I just kind of use this section of the two by two as obviously a place where I keep my receiver and and my preamplifier as well as my NAD. So again, just kind of throwing an idea out there if uh, anyone never thought about kind of using one of the Expedits as part of your place to store equipment down below as far as stacking components works out pretty pretty darn well. So, so there you go VC. As always, thanks for watching and uh we will talk to you soon. All right, take care guys.